Hi, I'm Father Valerian Chong, the Rector of the St. Francis Xavier Major Seminary here in Singapore and also the Vocation Director of the Diocese of Singapore. We've received so many of your burning questions over the past few days and what we're going to do is to try to answer as best as we can in the following few minutes. So let's go! Hey Alex, what's the biggest challenge you face in the seminary? Hmm. I think there are many challenges in seminary. Some would think that it's uh, studies in terms of our scriptural studies, some would think it's our spiritual life. But for myself, it's already disguised. Uh, I love them to bits, but it's really difficult sometimes to live with them, challenging sometimes, with different ideas and 21 different people living with different uh, upbringing, different backgrounds. Uh, but it's about living uh, together as brothers to grow in joyfulness, to grow in accept acceptance of who they are as people and who God made them to be. Hey Melvin, what do you love about the seminary? So this place, um, the seminary is the heart of the diocese and this place is the inner chamber where we pray. And each time, each moment that I'm feeling down or each moment that I want to praise God, it's a place where I feel most alive, it's a place where I feel most loved. And this place is the chapel. What's the first thing you did when you entered the seminary and how did you feel about it? I think the first thing was to bring my parents around to see the different areas of the seminary. I think they were quite pleased with how we looked and the brothers that were around. I think I felt excited that finally I could come to this place that you know I was looking at for a long time, discerning, and I was finally on the inside. What was the most difficult thing to let go before coming to the seminary? Um, I think that would have to be my parents because being an only child, right? I'm not, I'm not only an only son, but I'm only, also an only child. Um, I think to look after my parents, um, you know, and to leave behind that thought of nobody looking after them. It's definitely something that I had to take a while, you know, to get used to uh, before I could allow myself to enter the seminary. What's the day in the seminary like? Do you all pray the whole day? Mm, okay, besides praying, we, we also have our community games, we have our intellectual studies, our usual timetable, and also uh, community meals and interaction, and also, most important, our silent time we've got. Hey Eugene, do you hey. get to go back home from the seminary? Yes, actually we do get to go home to run the seminary. Um, once in a while, the, the fathers even give us additional off days. So what do we do when we go back? We oh, spend quality time with our family, with our friends, uh, meet up with random people, and sometimes even just meet people just to catch up or to touch base with them. Um, I really help brothers who do pastoral visits on their off days. All this because, well, this guy. Hi Father Val, what's the one thing that attracted you to the priesthood? Well, I have to think back over 20 years and one of the motivations I had was to bring Christ to others and to bring others to Christ. And not only that, I realised as a priest, I can make the mercy of God and allow the mercy of God to transcend into people's lives. That's what attracted me. Hey Joel, I see you're playing the guitar there. What else do you do for your recreation? So for me, I like to play pop songs and also I love to take long hikes, especially in the nature parks uh, around here. Uh, I just find that the nature parks are like, you know, God's cathedral. And every, at every opportunity, I will take the chance to go out and walk around and look at everything. Yeah. What happens when you have a fight with another seminary? Oh, um, I think we both cool down first. And then, maybe I always approach them and ask, I like, told the first level person, I'm sorry. Yeah, and then the, yeah, I try to you more than the, the, the argument and we try to see how we can uh, work out what we have to argue, yeah. Hey Clarence, uh, hey. if you were not discerning the priesthood, what would you have done? If I was not discerning the priesthood, I would have been a chemical engineer or a university professor. Yes. And, uh, well, giving that up, I suppose, has its own challenges, but with the grace of God that has, has, has gone its way and uh, yeah, I'm happy where I am right now. Hey Sean, uh, which part of your future priesthood are you most nervous about? Maybe homilies, meeting the parishioners, doing the sacraments? Hey, for me personally, the most um, nervous thing I'll probably be uh, worried about is actually the sacraments because um, I feel that it is really a privilege and an honour to be a priest and especially for the sacrament of Eucharist, 
I will be thinking to myself, how am I worthy to be able to celebrate this sacrament? Have you ever doubted your discernment? Yes, of course. I think it's a very normal part of discernment. But over the course of the years, God gives you encouragement in your prayer. And He told me not to look for signs, but to look for Him. Right? And the Bible says, once you put your hands on the plow, don't look back or you're not fit for the kingdom of God. Hey Bernard, what was your hardest subject and how do you overcome it? I think uh, for me it's metaphysics. That, that really gives me a lot of uh, stress and all that. But uh, how do I overcome it? I think it's really the brotherhood that we started together. And to be able to use it for my pastoral work, I think that really gives me the motivation to study. Well, thank you for watching this video clip and we hope you've answered all your burning questions. Do keep us in prayer because we really need your prayers to help us build a vibrant, evangelizing and missionary church. God bless.